Hi, it's me and Faraby. How to wait. It was one of those nights that my body began to wake up at 3 a.m. and I finally decided to let my brain join it. In the previous three days, I had begun writing five columns and put them all away to use later. More ideas crept into my head as I lay there. None stuck. But like always, I knew the Lord would send me the words to write. I just had to be patient. I got up, got a cup of cream and coffee, opened up my Bible, it landed here. Psalm 40 verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined unto me and heard my cry. I waited patiently for the Lord. That adverb patiently sure does make a lot of difference. Patiently means showing tolerance or of delays, problems, or suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious. That sure can be hard to do. He inclined unto me. That verb inclined sure does make a lot of difference. The Lord inclines unto us, and that means he leans in toward us as we wait. I remember as I was sharing a burden with a friend once, she got up, walked over to me, sat down right beside me, and leaned in toward me so that we could be closer. As soon as she did that, I was comforted. It is unfathomable to think that the God of this universe inclines toward us, leans in close, and comforts us while we wait. He heard my cry. That verb heard sure does make a lot of difference. To hear means to perceive with the ear a sound made by someone or something and to listen or pay attention to. We cry, God hears. When my children were babies, I would hear their cry in the dark of the night many times. I even remember staying awake listening for their cry. Isn't it good to know that God neither slumbers nor sleeps and hears the cries of his children? So what does God do after we have patiently waited? He has inclined toward us and he has heard our cry. Psalm 40 verses 2 and 3 tell us. He brings us out of a horrible pit out of the miry clay, sets our feet on a rock, establishes our goings, and puts a new song of praise in our mouths. Many will see it and will trust in the Lord. From our mundane daily needs to the monstrous giants in our lives and everything in between, the blessings of Psalm 40 verses 2 and 3 are attainable. How? Wait. Wait how? Patiently think I will give it a try. Care to join me?